Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. So this is day 18 of cell scripting series. Today we are going to learn how to take backup of all the directories in our Linux system. To write a cell script which is going to take the backup of different directories in our systems and transfer those backup files to a specified location as per our cell script. So now let us begin. So here I have written a cell script. Let us understand line by line what exactly this script is going to do for us. So what, what we are doing? We, we have started the line of the script. First line is bin bash. So we, we are starting from here, the cbang line. Then in the backup directories, this is a variable backup dirs. I have given the name like backup directories. And here I am specifying the name of directories. So I want to take the backup of slash etc folder and slash home folder. So these two folders, I want to keep the backup. So in the backup directories, we are passing the two different paths or two different folders which we want to take the backup. Now, in the destination directory, like where you want to keep the backups, I am telling in slash root slash backup folder, please move the backups. And then the next command I am running is making this directory mkdir hyphen p means path. And then we are telling, okay, destination path, please create it. So suppose I want to create a, a folder here. So root backup. And maybe today we want to create. So the folder name we can give root backup underscore today. And then mkdir hyphen p dollar destination directory. So this is going to create this folder before running our script. After that, what we are doing in the backup date variable, we are getting dollar and a small bracket, which means actual value of date is going to replace this backup date. That uh, means backup date will get the actual value of date plus percentage b percentage d and percentage y what is meaning of the this so let us first understand the meaning of this and then we'll proceed further with our cell script so how to check what is the meaning of any any of the options so you can use the manual command so ma and man and then date so you are having the option d if you are having option d display time described by a string we were having option minus b so let us see the meaning of percentage b sorry so percentage b is local abbreviated month name so here month name how it will be written like if it's january it will come jan if it's feb it will become feb february similar way apart from b we having percentage d so d will tell take like day of the month so it is first one two three means date actual date and then we are having y. So what is y here? Y, if you will see, let us see. So y is like last two digit of the year. So last two digit, like it's 2023. So it will say 23. So now I hope this is already clear. So let us again go to the script and understand. So now you understood the meaning of D, B, D, and Y. Now here I am telling echo, echo is just a print message, a starting backup of. And then we are telling dollar and we are getting backup directories. But here we have a specified at the rate in the square bracket. That means each, each item it will take one by one. So first time it will say that a starting backup of slash etc. The next time it will say a starting backup of slash home folder. So at the rate symbol here is going to replace each and every item one by one. So this will just print the message. And then what we are telling for i for loop in the simple for loop syntax is for your variable name in and the actual different set of values. So here I am telling for i in dollar and then again backup directories and at the rate means all the content like one by one. So for loop will first take slash etc. The next time it will take slash home. So first time when for loop will run, it will go. Then we are telling do. And what we are telling the command sudo because as a sudo user you want to run. Tar command is to create the tar file hyphen pczf. So C is for compressing, Z for zipping, F is called forcefully. 
P option right now we'll check. And then we are giving the path, temporary path like slash CMP dollar I. So dollar I means it will replace the value. So first time it will be slash ETC. So it will write ETC minus then backup date. So backup date here you are getting in this variable. So it will put dollar suppose. So ETC slash ETC and then the backup date. And then it, you are telling again dollar I. So what it will do, it will take the backup and this will be the backup file name slash in the folder dollar i dollar backup date dot tar dot gd and which which file exactly it is taking backup first time slash etc second time slash home and it is telling if dollar question mark so what is dollar question mark means if exit status of this sudo tar command is successful then it will print a message echo dollar i means both the folder name one by one backup succeeded Else, if it's a sudo tar command is having some problem, then it will tell backup has failed. Next command, what I am telling, cp this tar file to the destination directory and destination directory is our root backup today. And if this command is succeeding, then it is printing the message that echo dollar i transfer succeeded. Else, it is telling transfer failed. Done. And in the last from the temp folder, it is cleaning this .gz file. And then it is telling the message that backup is done. Now in the tar, one option which we are not sure, minus capital P. So let us see what is the meaning of this capital P. So you can put man tar and then you can see value of hyphen P, capital P. What is the value of it? So capital P is like don't strip leading slash. Means a slash etc is written. So just it is telling that don't strip leading slash from the file names. So from the file names, it is not removing the slash, it is taking the complete line. So that's, that is the meaning of capital P. So I hope now it's clear. So now let us clear our screen and then run our script. Uh, permissions already I have given, but you can again give ch mode plus x and then sell whatever the cell script backup.sh and then you can run the script like dot slash cell script backup.sh so it is telling a starting backup of slash etc and slash home and now the backup is running so here you can see slash etc backup succeeded slash etc transfer succeeded slash home backup succeeded and slash home transfer succeeded and in the last it is telling backup is done now let us go to the location so our location was cd slash root backup underscore today this was the folder so now let us see here so here if you see the etc march 21 23 the tar.gz and then home folder march 21 23 tar.gz so this has taken the backup and then it has transferred the backup to slash root slash backup today folder so this is one of the best example where you can see how to take the backups and transfer it to the particular location in our cell scripts, we are using the cp command to copy it in the local system. But in companies, if you want to transfer the backup, suppose to some another another systems or another sorry, some another systems, then in that case, definitely you can do that as well. So how how to exactly do that? I'll I'll share about that as well. Just wait a second. So here I am using the cp command. What you can do? You can use the scp command. You can give the file name and then directly we are putting destination directory. Here we can accept the server name. So here maybe some server name and then it will directly connect to that server and then you can transfer the backup file to the target servers as well. So this was one of the example which is going to help you to take the backup of files and folders in your system. That's it about today's sales script. Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time. Thank you.